Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 5. We are about to hit Chapter 5-2, the experimental facility. So this was the facility Excella was talking about. She's got us under surveillance. I can almost guarantee she sent that VOW to eliminate us. We can ask her about that, and about Joe, once we find her. Alright, let's find her. Essentially, we're in for a world of hurt with this level. <laughs> Starting to get... Uh, this is the point where, the, uh, where Resident Evil 5 decides to be... A bit of a dick, really. <laughs> uh, with the whole letting you get through levels relatively straightforward. Uh, forwardly, thingy, whatever. Because then we start to get this bollocks. Um, I think I'll deal with this bollocks appropriately with my sniper rifle. And I will shoot you in the toe and it will be deadly. Damn it. Yeah. Now we start to get guys who are well armed and will tear you, tear you the fuck up, essentially. Okay, we're, we're good for that guy. They have annoying weapons, and <laughs> they will hurt you. I'm gonna make use of that now, in fact. I owe you one. So we're both down on a little bit of health from my uh, my veteran expo uh, exploits from the previous time I was messing around with Resident Evil 5. I'm kind of wishing I brought a, uh... Ah, shite. The side body armor is now a good idea for the uh, enemies to have. Consequently... Ow. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. They start throwing uh, grenades and various things. All the sort of stuff that you kind of had as an advantage up until this point. Gaben. Gaben mit handgun ammo. <laughs> or something to that effect. Let's get this guy popping down for a quick cup of tea. Let's so shoot him in the face first. Oh, just ah! God damn it! Stop taking so many uh, hits to kill. <laughs> Alrighty. Next. Let's be tactical about this bitch. I've changed to the uh, the AK-47 as my uh, machine gun of choice. Um, okay, I'm gonna give that to you. Um, Thanks. On the uh, advisement of a viewer, <sighs> but for this level, I I know I'm going to regret doing that. Because there are certain enemies that I'd, uh, I'd love to take out using um, whatever machine gun I'm using uh, at the whatever point. Because it's what I find to be the best. Why are you rolling into the fence, you idiot? I find it to be the best uh, plan of attack for this particular enemy that is introduced in this level. And of course... Wait, no, that's not what I want. Um, the AK-47 doesn't have the clip size I, I enjoy. Well, enjoy is not really the right term, that's what I prefer. Ah. Let's crank something, at least. Oh, 
See, already down to 34, and that's like the uh, entirety of the ammo that I possess. For this weapon, so... As you can probably tell, it's, uh... It's not great. Alright, Shiver, I'll reload. I don't really need to, but if you say so. Um... Yeah, so this level proves problematic in the, uh... Oh, I still don't have my magnum anymore. What did I do with my magnum, I wonder? Was I even carrying a magnum? Yeah, I was. Okay, I'm gonna request that ammo. because Take I, I kind of need that now. It's not all uh, not all about Shiva. I owe you one. I need ammo. Take this. So this is gonna be proved to be a little bit more about the uh, inventory management, unfortunately, for this level. And you all know I hate that, so I should probably stop mentioning it. Well, 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 well. Plot developments indeed. Um, you grab it. Roger. Uh, you're gonna be stupid about it, so I'm gonna. Um, have to give me this. an herb. Take this. I'm gonna give you that. Thanks, partner. I'm gonna request that. Thanks, partner. No. Give me an herb. Use this. Okay. I'll take a flash a grenade, grenade as well. And get rid of it, because you don't need it. Alright. Now it's time to get hit in the face with some badass enemies. And because this has proved to be effective in the past. Who says sniper rifles aren't useful in relatively close quarters situations? <laughs> a lot of people will still hold by that uh, philosophy, but um, <laughs> yeah. Get rid of it. But yeah, liquors. I have found a, a temporal uh, solution, a temporary solution, I should say, to combating their bastardly ways. But I think for this case, shotgun is more appropriate. Ah. It's not quite the uh, rapid fire weapon I, I desire. I don't really need that. Plenty of lion hearts, which is the good thing about this level, I guess. Shiver, you're standing right next to me. Take it. Okay. So yeah, that was uh healthy. Um, I do want this now, so I'll give you that. Thanks. Use this. Don't want that one. I want need that ammo. one. Take this. Thank you. Cool. Off we go. So we dealt with the uh, the liquor. 
section of this level. This level, I, f I find they kind of, um, they chucked in sort of a very diverse range of uh, annoying things to tackle. So, they introduce uh, armoured sort of uh, standard enemies and um, gave them AK-47s essentially. And, uh... Ah, shite. And that guy's gonna smack me in the face because the cutscene... Let's... Oh, no. I thought the cutscene would let him advance a little bit, but no, evidently not, which is good. Um, as I was saying, they sort of... In, uh... Bloody flashbangs. They introduce as, as many possible uh, annoying aspects of gameplay in this level, which makes it uh, rather tedious to play out. And unfortunately, doing that, uh, the flashbangs actually eject you from your cover, which is rather irritating. Now, this handgun really is my weapon of choice for doing this, but since I'm trying to be a legitimate, uh, do this in a legitimate fashion, that's sort of what I'm stuck with. Um, Thanks, Use this. Thank you. So who have we still got to deal with? Okay, so far so good. Nah, nothing too taxing in that section. Um, occasionally there's a, a glitch and uh, you can actually avoid the spawning of uh, these guys uh, somehow. Like, Take it. I don't know why we need that, but um, yeah, on occasion I've been through this level and uh, the extra six or so guys that spawn haven't actually spawned for me, and um, it's been really easy to just to wander through this. But uh, these sections with the the conveyor belts, that one's not so bad, but uh, the one coming up is rather infuriating, especially on the, uh, the greater difficulty levels. So I, I tend to try and make use of a sniper rifle at first. Yeah, because you get this whole deal with the... Uh, I wish there was a steady button. Probably is one, but uh, I don't know about it, so there you go. Yeah, I tend to uh, prefer a rapid fire weapon for this section just simply because um, it allows me to kind of just s smash my way through the section, uh, destroying any kind of obstacles ahead of me. Like so. Uh, even though they didn't actually take out any enemies and is therefore not helpful. God damn it. Right. That's enough of that bollocks. So yeah, it, you can tell that at uh, the higher difficulties, grenades are also a problem. <laughs> um, shite. When you get this onslaught of guys coming after you, it's rather irritating with all the body armor and the explosives and being stuck behind cylinders of uh, propane and such forth, or whatever they're supposed to be. Alright, <laughs> that's another annoying section done. 
and just for good measure, turn off the conveyor belt. Okay. Right, so we're coming up on the uh, only... Um, only BSAAAAA emblem in this level. Um, Chris, if you're playing as Chris, you're tall enough to lean over and shoot it. If you're playing as Shiver, however... Rhyming masterpiece, of course. Um, but if you're playing as Shiver, uh, you will have to toss a grenade in there because you are limited by your short stature. And we're about to grab an item that I thoroughly enjoyed. And it has been typically, up until my newfound love of MP5s, uh, my preferred machine gun. Um... So yeah, Shiver has a bunch of crap. Um, I need ammo. Take this. So you can have another machine gun, and I'll take that and move on. So of course, um, these must be the discarded test subjects from the research facility. We can't actually go anywhere because of the fact that these blo uh, boxes block the the way. I don't know if you can kill these guys at uh, this point. It doesn't really look like it. They're taking a lot of damage to the crotch. Um, but yeah, boxes are in the way, so obviously we have to go and re-establish the power. Obviously. Because that's the logic of video games. Can't get somewhere? Go do something. <laughs> and open a door. But yeah, we're coming up on a bit that I really, really hate. Uh, simply because it's one of the places that, if you're unprepared, you will die this really easily. Why would they need these? Do you think? Maybe they're planning to start a war. Maybe you're planning to start a war. Okay. All right. Well, I have 50 shots of AK-47. The question is, will it be enough for me to survive? My gut feeling says no. So, if I don't do this correctly, this may in fact be my first death, I think, of this series. So all of a sudden we get this whole inverse uh, alien egg pod thingy. Shiver, you might want to step back because we're about to be in for a world of pain. Fire! Now run away. Crap. Why is your reload not so good? Okay, where's he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? That's done. That's done. We have no good weaponry. We do have good weaponry, but not for this situation. Shiver! Give! Give me your machine gun. Oh, take this. <laughs> this is not how I like to do this. Hey, I'm gonna corner now. Cornered, cornered, cornered crap. Fire! Shotgun. Kill it! Kill it! Ah! Okay, I think it's dead. That's cool. I hate these guys. <laughs> of the sort of standard non-boss enemies, those guys have probably killed me the most. Whoo, doggy. Okay, I'm gonna exchange that for Give me a grenade. A grenade, why not? And that is, in essence, the fundamental problem of not having a large clip size in your machine gun. Because uh, unless you're packing a magnum with um, a, dispen uh, a disposable clip, essentially. Um, what don't I need at this point? I don't know. <laughs> I'll discard that. Ah, oh, goddammit. Um, yes, as I was saying, unless you have, like, infinite magnum uh, or... A magnum with a large clip and backup ammo that you don't really mind uh, spending and killing these things, uh, which is probably a good idea. They uh, can be quite 
brutal because they do have a very quick insta kill uh, move, I suppose, that they can uh, deliver very quickly. So, in the sense that these are the dangerous enemies, like the chainsaw wielding dudes, like themselves, um, you don't want to get too close because uh, you will be stabbed to death really quickly and uh, it doesn't really matter how much... Ow. Bloody box. It's ridiculous. Stupid boxes. Okay, well let's do this. The problem is with doing this is uh, you run the risk of getting mauled by these dudes. As evidenced, and I lost my chance to pick up the Dead Bride's Necklace. There's a lot of the Dead Bride's Necklace kind of coming down this, uh, this section, so if you want to wait around and uh, try and grab as many as possible, I'm not actually sure how many go past, but it's a decent amount. They only sell for a thousand gold, so uh, it's not the most lucrative practice, but if you have time to kill and you don't mind sitting around, I think you can grab a few. And of course, if you do this, you can backtrack. And I can see that uh, this guy, he has a dead bride's necklace. So they crop up every so uh, every so often, but I'm not going to worry about it because you do pick them up. It's a repeatable uh, treasure item from this level, so I'm about to go and grab some more, I believe. Or it might be in the next level, actually. I can't really remember. Yes, no, it is actually uh, later. and uh, But it is a repeatable one, so I'm not going to worry about it. In fact, we're actually coming up on the boss fight for this level. Uh, as evidenced by Gore Shadowing, they have given us a number of flame-based uh, flame-based ammunition, so I wonder what they're trying to say. Of course, this is the one time that I will advocate being cheap, and it's why uh, I have, in fact, brought my rocket launcher to this parte. about. Oh, you'll find us soon enough. Everyone will. <laughs> mm, 
This is called Ouch Time. Um, of course, any legitimate strategy, you would be using this flamethrower, which is cumbersome and uh, That's the same type of bio a fairly like slow uh, method yes. of uh, actually taking this thing out. So, this is the time that I would advocate you picked up a legitimate rocket launcher in the uh, swamp level. Now is the time that I say, fire that bitch. Fire it good, fire it now. It's cheap, I know, but I hate fighting that battle in a, legitim in a legitimate fashion because it takes a long time, and I'd rather not waste my time with it. So there you go, end of chapter 5-2. Win is us. <laughs> the winner is us, in fact. It is me. Um, so yes. Hope you enjoyed that. It's um, encompassing a lot of... I'm waving my arms around right now, being all pretentious. Um, encompasses a lot of irritating factors. You have armored guys with grenades and machine guns. And you have conveyor belts that are annoying to run against. And then, of course, they throw in propane tanks for good measure. Then you have a reaper. The skittly bug bastards who are annoying to take down and will insta-kill you pretty quickly. And then you have an annoying boss battle at the end of it, which I prefer to circumvent because having gone through the rest of that level, I'm not really in a mood to kind of draw out the fight at the end. So full advocation of Rocket Launcher there. Of course, I've done it. <laughs> I've had to do it in the past uh, legitimately, and hence this is why I choose now to not do it. So. So yes, once again, thank you for watching. I will be back soon with more Resident Evil 5. We're getting really close to the end. Um, longer videos, this means. But hopefully you don't mind. And yeah, that is all. I will see you next video. Have a good one, and I will catch you later.